hello good evening everybody i welcome you all to my youtube channel you are onto my page share guest world on my youtube channel so thank you for joining me in today's um topic that i have for us and i hope everybody is doing good i hope you are doing great i want to talk about um school you know our children they've all gone back to school school has resumed fully after christmas vacation so that is what I want to talk to us about. And the, the thing that actually made me to speak this evening is about parents who have their children's school in far places. This is not advisable. For example, you have someone living in, uh, for example, at Okota, then your, your child might be schooling in Victoria Island. Or maybe if it's, if it's in Enugu, you have someone living living in GRA for example and your child will be uh, schooling in Gariki or you have your family living in Gariki and your child will be schooling in GRA or Independence Louds. Honestly guys this doesn't make sense to me at all. Considering the security of this country what are we even talking about? We keep praying every day for, for things to change. We keep screaming on top of our voices how things are bad in our country and yet we are not helping matters. I'm talking to parents this time around because I'm a parent. I know what it takes to go through uh, childbearing and have your child brought into this world or for you to just, you know, live like as if the world is a bed of roses. The world is not a bed of roses. The world is not. So I don't get it when parents are living in far distant place and they are and they have their children schooling in another area. Honestly, if only Nigerians will start, you know, applying these laws that I see outside the country, the one I know very sure of is in London. You cannot be living in a particular area and have your child schooling in another area. They do not tolerate that. Wherever area you are living in, even if it's in a particular street, your child must be schooling in any school in within that particular area. That is within whether street or area. All I know is it must be around the area you are living. They don't tolerate you living in Buckingham Palace and having your children schooling in, in United States of America. Then we have it here in Nigeria. And I know the reason we're having this in, in Nigeria because it's all about money. Because our government schools and, and, and nothing to write home about, if you have your children in government schools, they don't even teach them enough things. They, sometimes teachers doesn't even come to school. And, and what once they did, you, you feel like you, your child is lacking behind you know among his or her peers that's why we'll have more of private schools then the private schools themselves are the ones doing this why would you take a child that that um, a parent will come and tell you because during the filling of the forms for your children to to start the school you you indicate everything and every single thing about them including where you live then how come um you have a school for example in independence louds then a child will come from Owane, for example, or Gariki, or Abani Road. A parent will bring their child and they will tell you they want their child to school in independence land. And you accept it. I know they do all these things because of money. Because every private school wants to make their money. Then come to think of it as a parent. Is it wise? This is not wise in any way. Then during a, um, um, maybe lockdown or something terrible might happen in the society or maybe all these unknown government um, happening here and there, you find them running helter skelter to go and pick up their children. Can now consider the, the distance. Consider the distance of from Abu Ani Road or Gariki to Independence Lot or to GRA. Does it really make sense to you? Talk more of the parents that I see some women. You entrust your children into the hands of a keke, keke driver or into the hands of a or, 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 or of a motorcyclist to be taking your children to school in the name of I know him very well and you feel that is safe as a mom you feel that is safe women we should stop all this parents generally men women we should stop all this stop entrusting your children into the hands of a stranger in the name of good school run oh since you know the distance is not um it, 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 it's not favoring you in any way why would you entrust them into the hands of a stranger to be taking them to school and bringing them back and tomorrow when they are kidnapped you start screaming the devil has done something on you meanwhile the devil was on his own and you invited him you invited him 
Okwasi na onye kwa osu. Ikwe gono osu. So please, mothers, even if your husband doesn't care about your children's uh, school and the way your children attend school, you should care. You are the one carrying them nine months in your womb. You are the one going through all those labor pains and every pains that, uh, that, that, that has to do with pregnancy. Why would you risk your, their lives in the name of trying to belong to where I don't even know? Belong to where? That your fellow friends and their kids are schooling in Victoria Island. Therefore, you want your own to school in Victoria Island because you feel you have the money. Hello? If you feel you have the money for them to school in Victoria Island when you are living in Festac or when you are living in Bagada or when you are living in Surulere or when you are living in Iwane and you want your kids to school in Jerry and East Peninsula, why don't you build a house? Why don't you build a house and move to those areas move to Victoria Island, move to Independence House, move to all these areas you feel that are posh. If you feel that you have the money and not living in a different area and sending your children to school in another area, it's bad. It's bad, guys. Please, it's bad. It's terrible. You're endangering the lives of, of your children, you're endangering their lives. Think about kidnapping, think about molesting them. They might not be kidnapped, but they could be molested. Think about raping them. Think about manhandling them, rough handling them. Think about all these things. If you love yourself so much and love your children so much, please have them school in any school within your area don't tell me the, this other school is posh the way you make your things so shall it be in the eyes of people watching you any school around your area the way you present that school will make other parents to start wondering and questioning what is in that school that is making you to present it in such manner and making you to be proud of that school Stop risking the, the lives of your children. Stop. Honestly, stop. Let's stop now. If you're a mom watching me right now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Do the needful. Get your children in any school within your area. Stop taking them to far places and entrusting them into the hands of strangers in the name of people that do school run for you. If you're a father watching me right now, start taking notice of all these things I'm talking about. Ask your wife, where, I, let's just assume you don't know the school, uh, your children's school because unfortunately many fathers doesn't even care um, where their school is. Truth be told, if you're watching me right now, question your wife. Try to get to know where your children's school is is and if you feel it's in a different area altogether considering what is happening now even if there's peace in the country it's not safe have you ever thought about accidents even though accident can occur anywhere anytime but have you thought about that it's not safe how much more insecurity going on right now ask your wife questions if your children's school are not within your area change their school have them school within your area if possible, next door neighbor school. If anything is going on, rush immediately, pick up your children and run back to your house. So stop trying to belong to God knows where, if you're a woman, because this is more rampant in women. My child is schooling in Victoria Island. My child is schooling in Lakey, British High School Lakey. My child is schooling in British High School GRA and so what? And you feel the rest of the schools within your area are nonsense? All those schools were open for you people's convenience. Take your children there and stop risking their lives. Enough said already. Please, if you love your children, do the needful. Now that everything is still on time. To avoid crying in the end. Because when that time comes, God forbid it. You will have yourself to blame. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this topic that I, I, I treated just now. And if you know you are that type that your children is schooling in a different area altogether. Please endeavor to bring them back to the area. To any school within your area. And save their lives. Save everything that needs to be saved. And save yourself the pain that you wouldn't want to experience. Thank you. I enjoy this topic and I hope you do too. And please and please again, if you know you haven't subscribed to my channel, listen, I am not scolding you guys, okay? I'm only trying to let us know the dangers that we may not be seeing, that we need to, we need to start taking you know, notice of and avoid them on time. Okay? I love you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to subscribe and make sure you turn on that 
red button so that whenever I post another video, you will be notified on time, okay? Thank you so much, and I promise I'm going to bring another interesting topic again. But until then, I have to say goodbye now. Bye.